Hey guys, how you doing? Um, hey, listen, um, I know a couple of people have brought up um, high pack, which if I remember correctly is heated intraperitoneal something, some chemotherapy. <laughs> anyway, um, basically it is a, um, the abbreviations are for this particular procedure. And this procedure is that they go internally, like they open you up and um, um, they take heated up chemotherapy and wash out your peritoneum with it um, with the goal to, the goal is to get rid of as many of those um, carcinoma tumors or cells, any tumors or cells as possible. Um, a lot of research was done on this between 1998 and 2001, and I've done a lot of research on it. Not much research has been done between 2001 and now, a little bit here and there, um, but the end result has been the same. And just to let you guys know, I will definitely check out your resources, and it's on my list of things to talk about when I um, when I go to the Mayo on Monday and talk to the surgeon. Um, it's also on my list of things to call about when I talk to people that specialize in this particular cancer. And until I talk to those people, my decision to do that has been to not do that. And here's why. Um, just like intravenous chemotherapy or oral chemotherapy, it's still chemotherapy. And as many good things as chemotherapy kills, it also kills the bad stuff. And I have had so many abdominal surgeries that having, looking at the mortality and the morbidity for HIPAC, um, just was not, the, the risks outweigh the benefits for me. So I need to talk to some more people and I need to get a lot more information, but I've done a lot, lot, lot of research on a high pack and I just don't think it's the right for me. Um, I, I don't want heated chemotherapy instilled in my abdomen. Um, dwell time is about 90 minutes and then they suck it back out and wash it all out. I, I just, from everything that I've read, um, it's an extremely aggressive and very invasive type of therapy. And like I said before, the mortality rate is huge. Morbidity rate is high. Um, I just don't think it's the right thing for me. Now I'm gonna say that with caution because I am gonna check out some more information. Um, but all the research that I have found has been from the late 90s, early 2000s, and I haven't found anything recently that says anything different than that particular research. So hopefully somebody at the Mayo has some more information from me. Um, my oncologist certainly didn't. They brought it up at the very beginning of my treatment last year, but they said that that was not something that they would recommend for me. Um, I don't know if it was because of my prior autoimmune diagnosis, um, which is mixed connective tissue disease, um, or if it's because of the stage my chemo was in, uh, maybe it was my health at the time. I'm oddly enough more, I'm healthier now than I was when I was first diagnosed. My body was extremely sick when I was first diagnosed and I've worked really, really hard to get it healthier, even through all of this stuff, um, and it is. But, so that's kind of my thing on high pack right now. So when I get more information, I'll give it to you. Um, but for right now, it's not for me. However, I do intend on checking out your websites, and I think that there was one somebody sent me that there was actually a number to call to talk about it, and I think I'm gonna do that. So I will let you know when I know. See ya.